How well do you trust yourself? Leaders do. Leaders do trust themselves, and it's it's not always an easy lesson to learn. Um, as we grow up, we you know oftentimes there's there's experiences in our childhood, with our family, in young adulthood, even more recently, that cause us to question our our own trust within ourselves. And yet, the greatest leaders out there do trust themselves. They trust themselves to take the next right action. They trust themselves to make progress and not worry about perfection. They trust themselves to show up every day um, and they can take those daily small actions that add up. Uh, they, they trust themselves to be consistent. They trust themselves to uh, respond faithfully and, and with deep abiding you know, love to a degree with what, what they're called here to do. Um, so if you are in a position of leadership, whether that's within your home or at your workplace, and you don't trust yourself, then people may not be following you as well as they could. Um, and you may not be showing up as the leader that, you're, that you've been called here to be and that you're in the position to be. So, you know, it, it's something, you know, again, building that trust in yourself isn't always easy. Many of us get, get those blows in early days. So, you know, and I know I've had those experiences, um, showing up here on the camera every week is not something I've typically been comfortable doing. Putting my face out here on social media is not something I have typically been comfortable doing up until recently. And yet, if I am going to lead a movement for leadership development training and coaching to help people embrace the leader they were born to be, then I have to show up too, right? I have to trust that what I'm doing with these videos is what is, is the next right step for me to take with my business and for you who watch. Um, I trust that people watch these. I trust that people get what they need to get out of them. Um, and so that's my consistent daily action that I'm taking you know, faithfully, that I'm on a path I'm supposed to be on and this is how I'm gonna show up and lead. So, and you can do the same. And you know, I had to go on my own journey, my own growth journey to understand this. I've worked with coaches in the past. I've been through training in the past. I work with a coach now. I have a mastermind group that I belong to so that I can continue to take the consistent daily actions that I need to take to show up and lead and that help to build my own trust in myself. Because much like the old adage of, you know, if you don't love yourself first, then someone else can't love you either. Trust is very similar to that. If you don't trust yourself, it's difficult for others to trust you too. And so if you're, again, if you're in a position of leadership um, where you're supposed to be, you know, I don't want to say running the show, but if you're supposed to be the one, you know, setting the example, let's use that instead, to inspire or motivate others, and you don't trust yourself to be able to do it, um, or you don't trust your own worth, or you don't trust your own value, or your self-esteem causes you to question your, your ability, I'm here to help you kind of fix that, because, I'm sure not kind of, totally fix that, uh, because if I can do it, you can I had experiences in my childhood that caused me to not trust myself at all. It caused me to not trust others. And I've done a lot of work over the years to fix that for myself. And now I do. I trust that, that I'm going to show up how I'm supposed to show up. And now that people either like me or they don't, and it's okay. And the way that manifested is was a, a whole corporate career where I was a leader. Um, and I want to help you do that too. I want to help you learn to trust yourself so that you can become the leader that you were born to be, um, so that you can that you can get up every morning knowing that you're going to take the next action that feels right. You're going to trust what your gut tells you. You're going to trust what your heart tells you. You're going to trust what the work requires, and you're going to do what it is that needs to be done to inspire and motivate those who are following you and show up as the leader you're born to be. So if you're interested in learning more, if you would like to learn how to trust yourself, um, if you need some help with that, you know, leave me a comment below, send me a message, send out a flare, and we will get on a call and we'll have a conversation about it. We'll get on a Zoom chat with it, with via video or again on the phone call, and we'll chat about how you can learn to trust yourself and how I can help you to do that. Because I do want you to become the leader that you were born to be. It's, it, it, it's, our, it's a birthright. Right? We're all meant to lead in some way, shape, or form, and I want to help you get there. So like I said, send me a message, send me a flare, send me a note, and we'll chat. And we'll see how I can help you and support you in your continued growth and trust for yourself. Have a fantastic day, and we'll talk to you next week. Bye-bye.